This graph represents acute to chronic workload ratio. This is measured within the Driveline Pulse app over a 28-day span for chronic workload and a 7-day span for acute workload. The suggested range of acute to chronic ratio is 0.7 to 1.3, and that's shown right here and right here. So that's the general sweet spot you would want players to be in when they're um, accumulating uh, workload when throwing. Um, and then this is something that we track within Driveline Pulse, uh, which has been helpful when discussing the approaches that players take uh, to their throwing plans. Um, and so now for more specific player examples, um, here's player A, uh, 0 0.7 again, and then 1.3, and then this player falls uh, nicely between that AC ratio. And then here is their, um, their chronic uh, workload over time, or over a 28-day span. And then for player B, um, 0 0.7, 1.3, um, they're just slightly above it. Um, so with this, we would bring this information. If they have a pitching coach or a coaching staff that they're working with currently, depending on what time of the year it is, uh, we'd bring this information to them, uh, which would hopefully lead to a productive you know, conversation or discussion. And then if they don't have a pitching coach uh, that they're working with, then we would ask the player how they're feeling, and then we would have a discussion with the player on how to proceed moving forward. Um, all in all, going back to this graph here, all in all, by using for uh, this information, we're able to better understand the impact of you know various throwing uh, workloads within the baseball population.